Hi guys, I'm Bernie Maguire, a singer, songwriter, musician from Australia, and this is vlog week number 10, so thanks for coming on this journey with me. Now I get questions from all over the world uh, and across Australia, and it's all about the Open Case Soft Rock album. It's a fantastic little album, and I'd love to see this in your CD collection. Now I've received a question, and it's from Sandra, and Sandra is from Birmingham in England. And Sandra's question is, has the music industry changed much over the years? Well, Sandra is a very, very good question. That's a big question. Now I'm only going to skip across the surface, really, because we could talk about it for a long time. Sandra, I think globally, back in the 60s, 70s and 80s, were such an incredible period. All the musicians were great singers, they were great musicians, and they dedicated their life to their music. And... I think a whole generation of that people, probably lasting 20, 25, 30 years, uh, were so excited about it, loved it, and everybody went out and bought an instrument and they all wanted to be involved in a band. They all got involved in writing. And it was a very, very progressive period with a lot of very, very good music coming out of it. But then at the end of it, um, I think the new couple of generations that came after it could see the glamour side of what happened back in the 60s, 70s and 80s and they thought, oh, I want a piece of this action. So they would get out there and they'd buy their instrument if they bought an instrument um, and they would try to be very pretty or gorgeous, good looking on, the, on their screens. Um, but there was no uh, hard yards put into what they did. So, and then the standard of the earlier period was so high that everybody had a lot of trouble matching what happened in that period because I don't realize that those bands and singers uh, would work sometimes for 10 and more years um, of, of night after night learning their craft or the, 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 the music industry uh, before they gained any success at all. But the newer generations thought, man, I'm going to have this overnight um, and I'm going to make it. It's going to be just as glamorous as it was back then. But sad to say, the standards started dropping and dropping and dropping, which is, uh, is a real pity. Now, governments made it very, very difficult as well. I'm not, now, I'm not talking about so much overseas because I'm not an authority on that. But um, in Australia, you've got uh, federal government, you've got state governments. They allowed poker machines to come in in the mid-90s. And uh, that was one of the biggest mistakes. All the pubs uh, were starting to be filled on it because the multinational companies would just push them in there. All the pubs are saying, oh, great, I'll get rid of all the dance floors and the stage and the lighting and the PAs. And we'll just have poker machines in there now. Now I can sit back here and I can let the money come rolling in and I'll count my money at the end of the day. Uh, it was devastating because now there was nowhere for the bands to play or very few places for the bands to play. And councils came in as well and started putting a bang, 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 a nail and nail in the coffin because uh, they would get the little whingy whiners which say, oh, this place is too noisy uh, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm offended by the noise. So the council would come put re noise restrictions on these venues as well. So it became very, very difficult for them. So uh, I, I wish I wasn't talking about this in some ways because it sounds very, very negative. Uh, but... Uh, as I said, the government's putting what they did on there has put a great economical hardship on society because there are so many people now with gambling addiction uh, and it's not just hurting single people or individuals, it's hurting families as well. So uh, it was a very, very bad uh, thing that happened uh, and uh, thanks to the government. I, I want to change the subject now because it's so depressing. What I would really, you know what I'd really love to see? I would love to see everybody get out there and buy an instrument. I don't care what it is. It could be a, 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 a guitar. It could be a string instrument. It could be a wind instrument. It could be a tin whistle. I don't care what it is. Go and buy one. It's the most beautiful feeling when you own an instrument and you're mastering this instrument and you take this instrument and you join in with other people and you have a really good time. It's a great way of making friends. And you never know. You might be the ones and you and your friends might get together and you might be the guys that actually save the whole musical industry. Wouldn't that be great? Um, I'm going to call it quits on this, Sandra. So it was an interesting question. Thanks a million for your question. Now, everybody can contact me on my website. And my website is berniemaguire.com. And you can listen to 30 second stings of all the songs of, on the website as well. Plus, you can buy off the website, buy my CD. Plus, there is a section on there where you can send uh, me messages. 
uh, on on uh, uh, my website. Plus, you can get me on Facebook. You can uh, get me on Bernie Maguire, which is uh, Facebook, and you can get me on Spotify, and you can get me on YouTube as well. Now, I'm running out of time, guys, so I'm going to have to say thank you, stay safe, and I'll talk to you next week.